Are you looking to migrate large amounts of data between cloud storage buckets, but don't know where to start? Then stay tuned, this video is for you. Hi, I'm Chloe, and today I'll be walking you through the steps, as well as some best practices to transfer data quickly and securely between object and file storage across Google Cloud, Amazon, Azure, on-premises, and more with Storage Transfer Service. Let's get started. What your transfer strategy looks like depends on the complexity of your situation. Before you get started, you'll want to make considerations while developing your plan. There are many options to consider when transferring your data, including decisions around logging, filtering, as well as considerations around deletion versus overwriting. For more information on things to consider ahead of your transfer, including bucket naming, transfer speed optimization, downtime minimization, metadata preservation options, versioned object handling, and more, check out the documentation linked in the description below. Once you've defined your transfer strategy, it's time to perform the transfer itself. When choosing a location for your storage bucket, you'll want to consider the differences in availability, price, and performance. We've provided a link in the description of a helpful table breakdown of these options, as well as information on copying over bucket metadata. But for now, let's show you how it works. You can copy objects from the source bucket to a new bucket using the Google Cloud Console, the G Cloud CLI, REST API, or client libraries. Which approach you choose depends on your transfer strategy. In this demo, we'll be using the Google Cloud Console. To begin, open the transfer page in the Google Cloud Console and click Create Transfer Job. Get started. Use Google Cloud Storage as both your source type and destination type. Choose a source. Either enter the name of the wanted bucket directly or click Browse to find and select the bucket you want. Choose a destination. Either enter the name of the wanted bucket directly or click Browse to find and select the bucket you want. Scheduling options. You can ignore this section for the purposes of this demo. Batch is for single transfers or recurring scheduled transfers, while event-driven is a great option for real-time migrations based on notifications. We'll select Batch since we're doing a one-time transfer. Choose Settings. Select the option Delete Files from Source after they're transferred. After you complete the step-by-step -step walkthrough, Click Create. This begins the process of copying objects from your old bucket into your new one. This process may take some time. However, after you click Create, you can navigate away from the Google Cloud Console. If you'd like to view the transfer's progress, open the Transfer page in the Google Cloud Console. Once the transfer completes, there's no need to do anything to delete the objects from your old bucket if you selected Delete Source Objects after the transfer completes during setup. You may, however, want to also delete your old bucket, which you must do separately. Once you've confirmed that your data has transferred and you've verified your migration, it's time to start using the destination bucket you created. Be sure to update any existing applications or workloads so that they use the new target bucket name. You can check data access logs in Cloud Audit Logs to ensure that your operations are correctly modifying and reading objects. Once you've confirmed everything is working well, you can delete your original bucket. You can also set up the option of deleting objects after they have been transferred or schedule object deletion. For step-by-step -step instructions, including information on our managed cron job scheduler in Google Cloud, check out the link in the description below. Ready to get started transferring your data? Learn more and see a full list of our migration solutions and services offered by Google Cloud at the link listed on the screen. Or check out the description notes on this video for even more resources to get started with Storage Transfer Service today.